It's all in my head. I call your name. So we're going to jump right into this message, this uh, energy of not feeling good enough, of doing something wrong, not understanding why your life has worked out the way it has. Justice. And... always doing that soul searching that you've done your entire life but like completely not understanding why you haven't seen these deeper aspects up until this point like it was never the questions that you were asking yourself. You were always asking yourself, why does this person not like me? Why can't I keep a friend? Why can't I keep um, family? Why does it feel like every time I'm around people, they're always just trying to get away? trying to get me to go. Justice. <laughs> and this energy of what can I possibly do that I haven't already done to make my life work out nine of pentacles <laughs> and then the sun and on the back the star in reverse I gotta sit with this for a second this is incredible so it's oh wow yeah so we had justice come out twice and both times I instantly picked it up and put it back into the deck as if it still needed to come out because every time it's come out, I distrusted it. And even though like I knew it was significant, but it wasn't significant for me, right? And I'm saying like, what else do I need to do to bring about the life that I think that I can or deserve? At, I can or else or at least I feel like I deserve the life that that I'm picturing in my head. And then there pops out the fucking Nine of Pentacles with the the sun on one half of the deck and the star in reverse on the other half. And this means to me this is <laughs> what you weren't what you weren't understanding <laughs> what you weren't seeing the question you weren't freaking asking was why do you not value yourself the same way you put value on everyone else? Like no matter how many mistakes everyone else makes, in your head, they're always valuable. They're always still worth it. They're always worth the time, effort, and pain to keep continuing to work through whatever is causing a disflow. But what you weren't seeing is that this type of energy was keeping you from seeing that you were the star. You're the star, but because you don't remember who you are, you're in reverse. You're giving out all the love that you should be giving yourself. You are constantly battling in your head, 
constantly fighting this battle of am I showing up authentically or am I not? And is that why I can't keep people in my life? It's never that you weren't showing up authentically. You were showing up authentically and then trying to figure out why everyone else didn't automatically show you the same type, type of courtesy. You didn't realize that people don't naturally come into any kind of connection with the best and the best intentions in mind you fail to realize that because you can't imagine it any other way and 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 it it, it just blows your mind thinking or trying to reason in your head about how anyone could ever not show up to a connection authentically and it's one thing if you both show up authentically and things don't work out, but when you're authentic and this other individual is showing up only part of themselves because they're afraid of opening up those other doors to you, of course, you'll never truly get to know that person in order to truly be able to make something work with that per person. And this is in, in every type of situation that you could possibly think of in your life. This is your your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your aunt, your uncle. This is your boss. This is your coworker. This is your pastor, your your youth pastor, your friends, and this is how we show up for situations in our life, like telling somebody that you're okay doing something when you're not. This people-pleasing energy in order to keep people in our life. This, I'll do anything I possibly have to and compromise every um, boundary I've ever set for myself. Any feeling that I've ever felt uncomfortable, I'll be willing to feel that uncomfortableness over and over and over again as long as I think you might show up differently next time. But it's in that compromising of yourself that ended up clouding your eye sockets and blocking you from hearing. And it starts to sew up your mouth because you begin being quiet more and more every time you allow somebody to cross a boundary. Whew. Yeah, Queen of Swords. The Fool. And it's the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which in the upright is um being needy and having nobody <laughs> to satisfy those needs, right? It's, you know, being outside left in the cold, but you're deciding to take a risk to get out of that, that type of energy. You need to step into this queen of swords energy that is literally sitting within her truth. And because she's sitting within her truth, she can stand in her power. She can feel confident. She knows that what's in her mind and on her heart is being expressed in her outer world. And nothing that anyone does anymore is going to leave her feeling left out in the cold. Nothing is going to prevent her from loving herself. Because she wants this new new error in her life where she values herself and she it's this this energy of no longer no, no longer wanting to struggle <clears throat> no longer willing to be in this lack mindset 
because we're scared. Not only that, but you're going to stand within your emotions. You're going to be confident in the fact that not only are you speaking your truth, but you're speaking that truth from going inside and figuring out how you felt about certain things in the first place. One second. Now that you're emotionally balanced, even though that took like lots of strength from you, like balancing these parts in yourself at any point in time in your life, no matter what situation or situationship you might be in, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot of strength. But because you had the strength to overcome certain challenges in your life, certain people-pleasing energy, because you finally woke up to who you were and how you show up and how you need to show up for yourself, in that same type of way, there's going to be coming in this this Eight of Pentacles or this Ace of Pentacles. It's a little bit of um, like uh, it's a little bit of you could say money or maybe somebody's going to offer you an opportunity. Um, to uh, do something and make some sort of money or um, you're going to run into a certain person that you need in order to start whatever this dream is of yours, whatever you think your purpose is. And from that, you're going to be able to maybe not make like a, sh a ton of money right off the bat or whatever, but you you're going to be able to stand balanced in your wealth for a while and your sense of security. And you're no longer going to be in this tied up, um, this tied up disempowered energy anymore. You're not going to let, Anything that anybody says or does deter you. You're picking all of your wands up and you're, you're walking. You're, you're, you're understanding that it's not going to be easy. But whatever in your life was easy didn't usually come with as much gratitude and joy. And no matter which types of situations you end up in, even if it's going to be like one of those, <laughs> this is a type of situation that is going to hurt me for a few months. It might knock me down a peg or two, but I know that in no matter what circumstance in my life, I've always been able to pick my shit back up and move on. I've always been able to recreate my life time and time again starting over from scratch time and time again and even though that's not something I desire to keep doing I understand that if I have to I can What else do we need to know after coming out of this energy? Are we trusting our intuition? The hangman, but it's in reverse. You're no longer second guessing yourself. You're no longer having to contemplate for weeks and months on end whether or not you liked a certain thing that was done to you or whether or not you like touched in that spot. You now know what it is that you want because you trust yourself now. 
not only do you trust yourself, but you love that person you are. Just like this song, you rise and then you fall, but then you get right back up again. juggling maybe you're gonna have to make a choice soon between jobs or between relationships this is wanted to come out twice now this is the seven of cups Meaning, you you having lots of choices, <laughs> so of course you're juggling. And right after that we had temperance, so you're going to need to have a little bit of meditative state about you when making these types of choices because you want to think about all the, the things that you want to show up as in, to show up in as in a relationship. You know what you now feel like you don't want any less than. And because you know those things, but you also, you know want to weigh out other things like attractiveness and um, emotional stability. Do you think this person is going to be able to be emotionally vulnerable with you? Do you think this person is going to allow you to be emotionally vulnerable with them without making you want to clam back up and never speak to them about anything like that again? Can you trust this person with your innermost thoughts? Even the ones that are taboo, are darker, are less than ladylike. But also having a knowledge that they're not going to only see those darker things as kinky but also understand that there's a reason you have certain ideas or you know fantasies page of pentacles and the king of swords somebody might be coming in who has a little less money than they might like but <laughs> They stand in their truth. They know what they want. And they're working towards themselves. They're working in their inner selves just as you are. But then, right after I take those off, a tower moment. But in that tower moment is the Nine of Cups. So. I think for, for these, with the fact that you had the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords coming in, this person who is standing in their truth but isn't quite financially as secure as they wish, you might meet this person and it causes some type of tower moment in your life that is bad in the moment, but that tower moment ends up bringing out the fucking nine of cups within you or maybe within that person or a different kind of situation in your life at the time. 
Oh shit. <laughs> And because of this situation, then you're going to up level to Queen of Pentacles energy. So now, not now, not only are you balancing your emotions and your standing in your truth, which is bringing you your power, but you are working towards more financial security that you had wanted. You were steadily getting there, but were stuck for a while. You were just barely above making it maybe and now because of that tower moment and you holding so much emotional st stability through that you're standing in the queen of pentacles freaking energy that's boss bitch that's i'm making money and it's flowing everything is flowing to me naturally always as money leaves me, money's coming to me type of energy. What else do we need to know? Wheel of Fortune. And the Eight of Cups. So, walking away from things that don't emotionally fulfill you is literally bringing you your happily ever after in every... <laughs> I keep knocking that over in every aspect of your life. The the wheel of karma is turning in your favor now. And you're now out of this all these swords are in your back type of energy and you're out of this n not being able to sleep and this anxiety and because you're you're completely seeing your power. Like not only are you speaking your truth and you're feeling emotionally secure now. Because you're feeling emotionally secure, you're no longer doubting all those inner thoughts, like those inner thoughts of your actual self. Like you're no longer wondering what you're not doing right because you know you're doing everything the way it needs to be done. And you know that because now you love yourself enough to see the type of love that you have given out, what it does, and how it should have been received back with wanting to give you the same exact love. Because your love has always been pure and completely en enveloping and you are, have always come into situations and before you ever thought to do anything harmful to this person, you had already given them time and time and time and time again more and more benefit of doubt that they could show up better next time. That mom will love me more if I help take care of my brothers and I feed them and I keep them busy so that they're not waking her up. It's mom will love me more if I help her find her white stuff in the carpet. It's my dad will love me more if I get him more girlfriends. My dad will love me more if I'm a good girl. That guy I love will do better 
because he can't stand the thought of living without me. Just as I can't stand the thought of living without him. And yet, it's never ended up being that way. Look at this, guys. Shuffling a little bit more and look at it. It's justice. With getting your fiery king energy. So... You're balancing that anger within, maybe, or your masculine or divine counterpart as a feminine um, is a king of wands. The Empress, Page of Cups, A little bit of anger goes a long way sometimes. King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and owning your your anger, your wrath, your Being able to handle what life throws at you, being able to handle um, the karma that you had dealt and came back to you, you were able to stand and hold strong. And now you're just showing up, you and your partner, or your partner to be, or the person you want in a partner. Um, you guys are just showing up the best you possibly can. And even though that that best might not have gotten um even though you might not have gotten to your best right off the bat you had to learn along the way but with every lesson that life was throwing at you and even this other person you you learned that these things were just a blessing in disguise. They were there to bring you even more integrity within. They were there to show you what you still had a weakness in so that you could <laughs> literally fix that weakness. You were able to literally spackle back up the parts of you that were broken in the first place because with every lesson that was brought to you you took that lesson and grew from it instead of resisting it and having to have it reoccur over and over and over again you learned the first time you continued having to learn yes but it was new lessons and different ways of 
um, perceiving things. It was a growth mindset for you at all times. And it's only when you became stagnant and started to just give in to other people's treatment um, until you decided that this was your life and you have to live it no matter what. Um, it's what you have dealt for yourself, so suck it up and take it. Take this, um, take it, um, you felt like you should just be thankful enough. Because you have been in lack mindset your entire life, struggling to survive the majority of the time, you eventually started to give up on the dream you had in your head all along. Yes, the dream changed here and there and, and you took some things out and put some things in, but you were always striving for your better, more um, authentic, um, more excited, adventurous you that you knew you always wanted to be that you never wanted to lose touch of but along the way you thought you were coming at life the wrong way because everybody else in your life was showing up with an energy of why aren't you happy with what you have and it's not that you weren't happy with the things that you had in your life. It's just that you always wanted to get more in the sense of you were never willing to just stay stagnant. You wanted more for yourself in terms of growth. You wanted to be better than you were the day before. You wanted to completely and utterly always strive to be better than. The, the last day better than the last time you showed up better than the last conversation you had because there could always be room for improvement and you started to wonder if you were actually the odd one out and if you were the odd one out, surely that must mean that you should start lowering your standards. You put the same amount of responsibility on yourself that you expected from other people, but you didn't understand that the type of responsibility that you've always been accustomed to is always astronomically more than most people. There are a group of you that have been through the worst types of trauma time and time and time again that that became what you were just normally used to. And therefore you continuously lowered your standards thinking that you were striving for too much. And that's why you ended up disempowering the inner soul of yourself because you gave up on that zest for life. And it's so amazing that <laughs> even after you have gotten to that point, even when the majority of 
people in this this day and age would have never been able to get back up. People literally thought there's no way she'll make it through this. There's no way he'll be able to stand tall after this. Surely they're ready to give up now. But time and time again, they watched you get back up and they were just in complete shock that you were still standing tall, let alone straight. You need to understand how far you've come and you need to see that in yourself and you need to realize your worthiness you need to realize the greatness that's in within you so that you never lose sight of this greatness again because you will definitely be doing yourself a disservice ever ever doubting who you are authentically again The card I dropped was literally the star card. <laughs>